Welcome to the Lima Church of God of Prophecy. Our host pastor is Pastor Michael A. Robinson. Our first lady is Sister Jean Robinson. Our mantra is the dead cannot praise God. Join us every Sunday morning for our live worship service at 10.30 a.m. And I promise you that when Jesus touch you, you will never be the same again. A blessing awaits you. That part is not. Everybody on the outside, come on. Now is the time for the Lord. Let's start. Bless me not, O Savior, Savior. Hear my humble cry. While another thou art falling, do not pass me by. Savior, blessed Savior, Lord, hear my offer, hear my offer. And others now I call all day, who that has me by. Let us lead, O oh God, by the Holy Spirit. We pray, mighty God, that you move everything which is not of you, every interference, anything God would hinder your praise, O oh God, from your people to worship you. Lord, we pray for freedom. You say, we are the spirit of the Lord, and there is liberty. So help us today not to be any spectator. Help us not to be a warrior, but a praiser. Help us, O oh God, to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise that belongs to you. I pray, mighty God, that you cleanse us this morning from all sin and unrighteousness. Burn on carnal weakness. Remove anything, God. O oh God, and stop us, O oh God, from receiving our blessing. Take charge and control. Touch the praise team right now. 
Father, we ask of you in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we praise the Lord again? Let me hear you praise him still. It is good to be in the house of the Lord. At this time, I just want to um, acknowledge the presence of our pastor and his family. My just possible sister Rabbis is online. Those online, brethren and friends, I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a privileged one to be in the house of the Lord. There are so many people, some are waiting for burial. Oh God, but this morning, we have the right to give God the glory, the honor, and the praise. Because we are alive. And when we dead, there is no way we can praise the Lord. So once we are alive, let us give God what belongs to him. At this time, let's turn over to the praise to him. And then, brethren, let us praise God. Don't allow anybody to push us, to push us to praise him. We are not a borrow this morning. We are here to lift up the name of Jesus. Praise Here we are in your presence, lifting all we have to you. Here we are praising Jesus for all the things.
Oh, 
Brethren are going through difficulties. There are times they are going through storms, they are going through hurt. We don't know. So I am going to ask Sister Beb. No, who, who is standing in the Sister Nella? You are going to stand. Right here, where you are. Sister Patricia, you're going to turn to the quarter. From Sister Dar, disappear from Brother. Okay. And I'm going to pass Sister Fraser. Michael, I want to give you some stuff. Okay, I'm going to sing this song. Lord, I please to pour up over all. He's above principalities. He's above powers. He's above our circumstances that we are going through. 
Sometimes we are going to see some things only Jesus knows. It's as if Jesus knows all about our trouble. And I'm going to ask Sister Fraser to pray for Pastor and his family. Deaconines of the Sister Fraser pray. The poor band leaders do the pray for your quarters. Sometimes our members are hurting. They are going to different phase in different situations. Some want to give up, some give up, some are weak. So we are going to pray today that God will intervene and take control of some situation. Some are sick, maybe not in church because of sickness. So we are going to sing this song, I pray above all of all things. Thanks. We give you thanks. Daddy, we give you praise. 
We give you glory. We give you honor this morning. I, God Almighty, we exalt you this morning, Daddy. Daddy, we call your name, Jesus. Thou son of David, have mercy upon us this morning. Daddy, we give you thanks. Yes, God, we give you praise. And we give you all the glory. If it had not been for you on our side this morning, oh God Almighty, where would we be this morning? Daddy, we tell you thanks. Great is your faithfulness this morning unto us. Morning by morning, oh God Almighty. Oh God, oh God. New mercies we see, God. All that we have needed, oh glory to God Almighty. Oh God, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Hallelujah. 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 Oh God Almighty. Glory, 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 glory. Oh God Almighty, I hear you, Daddy. I hear you. I shall have the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth this morning. Revoke every plan, yes, God, and every plan of the enemy this morning against your man, servant, and his family. God, we as a church, oh God, we stand in the gap this morning. God, we are only you, man, but we come, God. We come because you, God, say, God, we are the righteousness of your son, Jesus Christ. So we come this morning, and as we lift him up as a church before you, God, we ask in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you lay your nails, God, and upon him this morning. God, remember, he's only, he's only you, man. Yes, God, he's only you, man. And if never a time, God, he needs you. Surely he needs you now. God, it's not easy to be a leader, but I place him in your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Because your word declare, God, that no weapon that is formed against your servant and his family will ever prosper every tongue that rise up against him in judgment. Lord God, he has, he has, he has the right, Lord, to condemn you this morning. God, I know everything we do. I go please your people, but I pray, Almighty God, your people, God, we see him as your shepherd. Respect, oh God Almighty. In secret place, yet and the Lord rebuke you. The blood of Jesus is against you. You come against your assignment and your pretense. You, 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 you. Lord God Almighty, we come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the church and make the church roll on. Jesus Christ said in his word, and this I build my church and the gates of hell shall not heal. The church not long seal. I got the church. Leave the servant of God. Make him do what God said, God. It might not please you, but in the name of Jesus Christ, God of the Lord. Lord Jesus, cover him, Daddy, cover him. Cover him. Cover him. Lord Jesus Christ, but search him out no more. I left him to God and pray for him, Jesus Christ. Why? Hey, hey, help, Daddy Jesus, help. Help, Daddy, help. Deliver him, Jesus, from his fear of the fowler and from this nice young pestilence. God, you say it, the Lord God Almighty. You say in your word, God, that the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. God, you are the sun. But you, God, specializes in things that seem impossible. I pray, God, that you will hide him in the secret of your pavilion. Help the enemy to know, God, that he belongs to you. I pray, God, for physical and spiritual strength. Touch him mentally, God. I pray, God, for in the name of Jesus Christ, continue to speak the word. Thus said God without favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
Lord God, lift him up this morning above the expectation of the enemy. Every stubborn will, I command it to be broken this morning by the power of the Holy Ghost. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, give him stability, God. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Use it for the glory, God. You have never done before in the name of Jesus Christ. Help him, oh God, as he turns along life's journey. Yes, God, to keep his eyes out on you, God. Yes, God, to be steadfast, unmovable, always upholding in your work, God. Knowing that his labor, Jesus Christ, will not be in vain. God, we decree and declare today that he's the head and not the tail. I speak promotion over him. Yes, lift him up, Daddy. Exalt him as he humbles himself before you. Because you, God, say in your word, you will exalt those who humble themselves. For those who exalt themselves, you will allow them to be at peace. I pray, God, that your people will come to recognize the shepherd that you have given unto them. I pray, God, that we can just leave the burden on him alone. But they will see, oh God, we are a team. We have to work together. He has a mandate. And God, without the people, he will not be effective. In the name of Jesus Christ. So I pray that your people will have an understanding heart, a loving and a caring heart. God, they will show by him with love, Almighty God. Because you, God, say, love to the multitude of sin. And God, they will not choose to do things your own way, but you will be obedient to God, your man servant. I pray, God Almighty, for clarity. And as it's time to minister, hide him, Daddy. Yes, hide him, Jesus. Hide him. Yes, daddy, hide him. When they think they are him, God, I know him as you. So God, manifest yourself in his family. In the name of Jesus Christ. We pray against sickness and disease. Yes, God, anything with enemy has set up for him. We destroy today as the church. In the name of Jesus Christ. Provide him, daddy. Don't make him hungry. In the name of Jesus Christ. God, bless him with a new vehicle. Up to us in Jesus Christ. Bless him. Bless him, Daddy! 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 He belongs to you! Thank you, him. Yes, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, supply is daily need. The task is great, but there's a commission, there's a command. And God is trying, but he needs to know more than ever. Fight his battle for him, Almighty God. In the name of Jesus Christ, and give him your strength, which is made perfect in time of his weakness. Father, I present him and his entire family in your hands. And God, what we fail to ask of you today, fail not to give turn to us. We take the hand in Jesus' name. Okay, we're going to get to God knows everything about them today. Some are going through struggle. Some are going through pain. Some are going through hardship and difficulties. But because you are our great comfort and counselor, your word declared that the name of the Lord is a strong power. And when the righteous run into you, some are saved. Oh God, some want to give up. But in the name of Jesus of Nazareth today, God, I pray for strength. Lord, I pray for victory. Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, Satan desire and intention, God, is to rob and destroy your people. But today we come to you because you are mighty and strong in battle. 
Hallelujah. And there is no power that greater than your power. So, Father God, we pray that you manifest yourself, God, in their situation. Lord, some are sick today. And I pray, mighty God, that your healing hand may be upon them. Touch them right now, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, some might be going through financial difficulties. Lord, sometimes, God, when it seems as if we are going under, I pray today, God, that there you may be, they preach over their troubled water today. Lord, God, I pray to make turn a life around. Oh, God, do for them today, God, what no other power can do. Lord, I lift up this apology and I start to before you today. Lord, we know that, God, you are great, you are mighty, and there is nothing hard that, God, you cannot do. Oh, God, you said all things are possible, God, we only believe. I pray, God, that you strengthen the mother today. Touch our daughter right now. Remember the entire family. God, your people need you. Lord, there's a time, God, it seems as if, God, there's no way home for us. But Jesus, you are the master of the wind and the wave. You are the God who overthrew the sea. And Lord, somebody needs you today. Somebody already given in. But Father, because you are the great counselor, you are the deliverer. Oh God, when Mary said, when he said that Lazarus already dead, you were declared, I am the resurrection and the life. Lord God, I pray for your great resurrection power today. Hallelujah! That God, you will lift somebody. Oh God, out of some situation, God, that they are facing. Lord, we know that the enemy is upset. But Father God, we know that you are strong. You are mighty in battle. And God, you are no failure. You are no weak friends. Oh God, we look to you today, God, for help. You said the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. And they that dwell therein belongs to you. God, your people belongs to you. Lord, sometimes it's only a smile. But Jesus, we know, God, if we put our trust in you, God, you are able to do exceedingly above which we are able to think of our today. Lord, touch your people. Remove every endurance, every something black God out of the way that will enter us, Lord, to receive from you today. Help us, oh God, today, not to leave the way we came. Mighty God, I pray as your word coming forth today. Lord God, you may come like a harrow and a sword. Lord God, to destroy some yokes and some bandage. God, some imprisonment. Lord, some of us, we are bound. We are chained. We are chained by the enemy. But Father God, I pray God that your Holy Spirit today will arrest somebody who has given up, who was about to give up. God, you are God and you are strong. And there are nothing hard that God you can accomplish. Take their perfection. Bless your people. Give us the victory. Let not God the enemy triumph over us. Let not God even prevail over us. But God, give us the victory. Help us to be our overcomer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Before you leave, one ever band leader, find one person in your group and hope that person. I don't know anyone your spirit needs to just hug that person. Squeeze him. Okay, at this time, that is happening. And at this time, I'm going to ask some girls to come and read the list. And this is read as a written piece of the word of God. But we read the word of God.
morning, this is taken from Psalm 89, verses 1 to 25. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make thy faithfulness to all generations. I have made a covenant with my children. I have sworn unto David my servant. Heaven shall praise thy wonder, O Lord, thy faithfulness also in the congregation of the people. God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints, and to he has the reverence of all them that are about him. Thou shalt rule the region of the sea, when the waves thereof arise, thou stillest them. The heavens are thine, the earth also is thine, as for the world, the fullness thereof, thou hast founded them. Thou hast the mighty arm, strong in thy hand, and high in thy right. Blessed is the people that I know, the joyful son, they shall walk, O Lord, in the light of God. Thou art the glory of thy strength, in thy favor or for horn shall be exalted. Thou hast taken in vision to the Holy One, and said I have laid myself upon one that is mine. I have exalted my children out of thy people. With whom thy hand shall be established, my arm also shall strengthen him. And I will beat down his foe before his face, and plague them that hate him. And the time last is already. I will set his hand also in the sea, and his right hand in the river. This is the word of the Lord. Shall we praise the Lord again? Let me hear your praise in still. Okay, at this time we have the Good morning, everyone. I am Kahari Blair, and it is indeed a great pleasure to be worshiping in the house of the Lord today. First, let me welcome our pastor, Pastor Michael A. Robinson, and his son, Michael and Justin Robinson. Welcome to our online congregation, visiting friends and members. We are extremely grateful to have you all worshiping with us today. I pray that we will have a wonderful day in the Lord, and you'll join us. Again. By way of announcement, today is Monty the Bay Church of God of Prophecy Rally, and they are looking forward for our support. The Canaan Gospel Tabernacle Deliverance Center is inviting us to their one day convention on November 3rd, starting at 10 a.m. Also, the Pearson family would like to say a big thank you for everyone who supported them yesterday. The women's ministry want to say thanks to everybody who assisted in the fish drive venture 
very, very special thank you to Brother Blair, who worked at CGSA to make sure the venture was as successful. And thank you to everyone who supported us. God bless you all. I'll now turn over to our moderator. Shall we continue praying to the Lord? Okay, at this time, we are going to sing three for the people who are the time of song. The Lord, a rock in him we hide, a shelter in the time of storm. Seek your whatever things he bite, a shelter in the time of storm. Oh, Jesus is a rock in a weary land, oh, in a weary
Hallelujah.
Amen. Praise the Lord. Lift your voices and give the Lord a shout of praise. Amen. Amen. He's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down. The same. I greet you well, my brothers and sisters, in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. It's good to be here today. Amen. To worship. It's always a pleasure. Amen. The word of God said we should not forsake the assembly of the believers. Amen. So I am happy that I am here with the believers. Amen. I greet you well, O Mother and Sister Chambers. And, you know, it, 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 it's always after a funeral service. I always have to say to myself, thank God I'm with me. I'm still here to praise God. Amen. So we were here yesterday, amen. The piercing. And you know, we we're very thankful that we have our support. That Mr. Pearson, you know, then he's not a member here, but in the church, you know. Amen. Yeah, man, when some of the believers don't come out to clean. That person come and clean the church too. And he's not a member here. He's not a Christian man. But he makes sure this sanctuary, Lord, also. Amen? Praise the Lord. So, we, we, you know, we are really grateful that we have given them our support. Amen? Where is his story? We want to join forces before I send to help. You're standing in the gap for your God. Amen? Somebody stand with that. See, your brother just have some seed just this morning, right, huh? This morning. You know what seed you mean? It's like kids and somebody not trouble it. After you just start having seed just. So we're going to pray. Is we have five more corners. So we're going to stand with her and pray for her and her brother. Amen? Can we just do what? Just want to just do the verse of this song. Just if we're standing on the front. You know, and then we'll be able to pray. Can we just stand in here? Let me see. My King, through eternal ages, let His praises ring. Glory in the highest, I will shout and sing. Standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing, standing on the promises. Jesus Christ, my Savior, standing, standing, oh, I am standing on the promises of God. I know you're shaking, but you're standing on the promises God, oh, I know. We're standing in God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand on your word. We believe you. 
What you say, you will do. Whatever the enemy has planned, mighty God. We don't know your will and your purpose for his life, the brother's life. But God, all we know, we are placing him this moment, this hour, in your hands. Hallelujah. We ask in your mercies and your will, I pray for your divine forgiveness. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray for recovery. Hallelujah. We pray for strength in the time of needs. Hallelujah. I pray for covering all the family life and strength. Hallelujah. I pray even now that the Holy Spirit may minister to him. Minister to Sister Reed and the rest of the family. Lord, we are human. And things will always happen. But you are dear. You promise you will never leave us nor forsake us. In this time of need, I place it in your heart. We ask that your love and heal will surround them and your peace will be at this moment, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody give the Lord praise. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, Jamaica, we have some little problems in Jamaica. They say trouble, you know, trouble not set like rain. Amen. So we can see that rain set up, you know. And the place dark. Sometimes it is so dark and say, wow, you're not leaving the house, go and wash it. But after a while, the sun starts shining again. Amen. But trouble is not that. All right? Praise the Lord. Just a quick reminder as I leave in here to reach Baritone by four. All right? All right. This evening, it is what? Mantico Beers Rally. So I expect persons from Lima to be there. All right? And so I want to tell you that I need an offering of $10,000 first that I have it in my envelope to present to them. So, each job. All right? So, I have to carry $10,000. If you don't get it from me, you'll be happy to find it. So weird. Because when they start checking the envelope light, I'll wait on light, you know, because two, so, two five thousand dollar bill can make it extremely light. Amen? So we, we, we need to and please, my brothers and sisters, on the 10th of November, rally. So, now promote the rally, you know. But I was saying this morning, I see some persons, which they, they are the majority. Amen? They are the majority. But that doesn't mean that the majority is always strong. So I see the ladies have gone ahead. But I, but I only hope that they can maintain the race. Where is it, brother? Where is it, brother Lawrence? That good for them. But more the money come with about half a million dollars quick, quick. Can we step over half a million? No, what you are I preach more preaching or some more. So stand up, man, and, and, and declare it. What you say? And the sweep and the endurance. So what you say? So the man don't find half a million. All right. 
So him kind of want to come up on that side, too strong. But him say the race is not to be swift. So I take that and say, so go go on. Amen. All right, praise the Lord. Amen. So we prepare for, and let me remind you that we only gonna have the children choir and combined choir. So there'll be no men's ministry choir. No youth choir, so everybody must marry. It's going to be youth, senior choir, and the men's choir will be singing together. Amen? Praise the Lord. So, they want big, they want big money for each person, but uh, I have to be looking at persons who have more than persons to pay. All right? And we have to be reasoned. Agree on that? And those who are watching and live, we need your support also. Whether you're overseas or somewhere in Jamaica, you can send us a contribution for right. Amen? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Turn your Bibles with me to First Kings 19, and I will read a few verses. Ten to thirty. And he said, I have been very jealous for the Lord God of hopes. For the children of Israel of a second thy covenant. Throw down thine altar, slay thy prophets with the sword, and I, even I, am left, and they seek my life to take it away. And he said, Go forth, stand upon the mountain before the Lord, and behold, the Lord passed by, and a, and a great and a, and a strong wind rent the mountain and break it in peace. And the rocks before the Lord, but the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind and earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, still small voice. Father, I thank you, Lord. For another day, we thank you for who you are, your love, your kindness. I pray this moment, the word is anointed. I pray for fresh tongues and fresh anointing. I pray even now that the Holy Spirit will take rest as we give you all the glory and the honor and the praise. Thank you for who you are. What will be in our hearts and our lives. In Jesus' name. I, 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 I just want to do this. And do you know, you know something like that? I have had my dream for the Lord on my side. Nothing for the Lord on my side. Tell me where would I be? Where would I be if it had not? For 
One more time. Praise the Lord. In this chapter, give us an account of Elijah of being obligated to flee for his life to the threat of Jezebel. The threat. What is this threat? So in verse 2, We find in verse 1, Ahab, of, Ahab told all what the prophet has done. Elijah. Kill all Baal prophets with the sword. In verse 2, Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elijah, the servant of God. 
Now what you got to understand in this text, it was coming out of a powerful meeting with the children of Israel. He has just prayed and fire came down. He has just prayed and rain began to fall. But when Jezebel heard of what God has done through his servant, Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elijah saying, so let the gods Look at your neighbor and say, no gods, no gods, no gods. Uh, all other gods, uh, they are the works of men. Uh, they are hiders. Amen, somebody. If you feel threatened today, uh, no other gods can touch you. Uh, they hurt you because uh, they are uh, the works of men. Uh, they have eyes they can't see. Uh, they have hands they can't touch you. Uh, they have ears they can't hear you. Uh, They can't curse you. They can't speak any, declare any words over your life. Amen, somebody. So Jezebel sent a messenger saying, so let the gods do to me. You know, sometimes in our own lives, when we want to go to control to speak about persons or to do what we want to do, he said, make them come do what they want to do. It's common, not you. Hallelujah. Even, don't even have respect for the Almighty God sometimes. Make God do what they want to do with me. Amen, somebody. Am I going somewhere? So sometimes we will oh, open our mouth and say, make God do what they want to do to me because me go and say what me have to say. Hello. So the Bible says here, yeah, so let the gods come on, God, you know, God, you know, do to me and more also if I will not take thy life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. So a threat. Anybody ever get a threat for anybody yet? Anybody up here, anybody ever threaten you yet? Someone that threaten you and say, a nine days may I give you. Oh, can I preach up here a little bit? Uh, and so, if you have never been threatened before, that means you cannot understand what I'm talking about. Amen, somebody. When one is threatened, fear will take over. Where's the pastor and type of people threaten you? I said, look what I'm going to do to you. Fear will take you over. You can't even move. You stand in one position. You can't go anywhere. Amen, somebody. But my Bible tells me that when the fear took uh, Elijah, he began to run. Hello? Anybody up here, fear ever take you? And you decide, why never leave the community, you know? I have to leave the community. That's one preach, man. I have to find somewhere else to go. But can I tell you this, my brothers and sisters? Wherever you go, you are the same person. You carry the same problem with you. You carry the same pressure with you. You carry the same fear with you. Are you with me, somebody? It does not matter where you go. You are going to stand in that same condition. Amen, somebody. In with each other. Amen, somebody. So I was threatened by what Jezebel said, I'm going to kill you. Not remember that God was on his side. Uh, that was the same God uh, 
who help him in his time of need. Uh, anybody up here understand what I'm talking about? Uh, when your trouble comes, your problem comes. Uh, amen. It's the same God uh, who delivered you before. Uh, he's the same God right now. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, but the writer says a present help uh, in your time of trouble. Uh, it's not a different God uh, who delivered you yesterday. He's the same deliverer. Hallelujah. Now here, as believers, my brothers and sisters, when we are up on the mountain top, everything nice. Hello? When we are on the mountain top, you know, I, 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 hear, I, 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 uh, so you don't understand me because sometimes you're not here but me here uh, I just receive that uh, oh god uh, oh, you don't hear me I was told uh, just six weeks uh, guess what go uh, and take one Benz uh, and take a test drive out of it uh, I was told go and uh, test drive a Benz uh, and I said to myself go test drive uh, but now think about it because the Lord just said to somebody uh, oh hallelujah uh, you shall receive it uh, in the name of Jesus uh, So here when Jezebel, threaten the man of God, when you are threatened, you will fall into depression. Hello? Now he was dealing with depression. When depression comes, you can't pray, no worship. Hello? Anybody who ever depressed, so depressed, 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 that you don't know if you're depressed. Uh, you can't even call uh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, 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 you, you, you don't understand what I'm talking about. Uh. You find yourself in a little corner, wondering what is happening because of the threat. Hello? Now this man of God was hiding from one person. Hiding from Jezebel. He met somebody. You got to understand that when depression comes, everything becomes negative. Hello? You forget about God. Forget about the people around him. Amen, somebody. Yeah. So sometimes when we plunge into a situation, you forget about even your children. Because you're worried about what you are going through. Amen. You can't worship as the way you have to worship. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Uh, when depression stepped in, uh, sadness. Amen, somebody. Emptiness. Are you with me? So I was not empty. He was so sad that he did not remember that God is the same uh, all powerful God. Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, when we are going through these things, uh, when we are threatened uh, by sickness, uh, threatened by what is happening uh, in our nation, threatened, hallelujah, by friends, uh, threatened by our neighbors, uh, threatened by what is happening uh, in the community, we will stop, praise God. Uh, when I come to tell somebody yeah, that our God is uh, a comforter, He's a present helper uh, in the time of trouble. So emptiness and hopelessness stepped in. And he said, even I. How many persons here sometimes in church? We started to say, God, I need one left. 
Everybody else is gone, doing, gone their own thing. And me alone uh, is left to worship you. Uh. Have you ever been there? Have you ever feel that way? Uh, that when the pressures of life, uh, hallelujah, you feel that you are alone. Uh. Amen, somebody. Uh. But you are not alone. Uh. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, you are not alone. Uh. Because Jesus says, uh, he will never leave you, uh, nor forsake you. Uh. He's still standing with you. Uh. Then you feel alone. Uh. Jesus with you is with you. Uh. He said, I even I alone am left. Uh, and they seek my life to, to take it away. Me one left. Jesse Bell just killed up. The prophets of God have been triumphing. And I killed up 450 Bell prophets. And me one left to worship God. I am alone, is left to praise you. But here they are seeking to take my life. Amen. Somebody here. Yeah. But you got to understand what God was saying to him. You need to stand up because I still have 7,000 prophets. Amen. Somebody here. Yeah. I still have some persons standing up, praising God. I'm not bowing their knees to pay all. God has a remnant in this land. Uh, it's fight upon the nation is rolling uh, and sin it upon. Uh, amen, church of the living God. Uh, it seems that the church of the living God uh, is going under. Uh, but Jesus said, uh, on this rock, uh, I appeal my church uh, and the gates of hell uh, shall not and cannot prevail. Uh, hear me, somebody. Uh, the church of the living God uh, of some persons uh, will not bow their knees uh, to pay all. Uh, they are standing in holiness uh, and in righteousness. Uh, even with seeds like hello, even when it look like the church not walking holy. Uh, God of some persons a remnant uh, who will not bow their knees uh, to fornication, uh, bow their knees to adultery, bow their knees to, to hatred, uh, bow their knees uh, to bitterness, uh, bow their knees uh, to strife, uh, bow their knees uh, to malice. Uh, there's a remnant uh, still standing uh, God has a remnant who will not bow their knees uh, to this thing. Uh. God has a remnant uh, will still stand on the promises uh, of Almighty God. Uh. So God remind Elijah, I have 7,000 uh, holy prophets uh, still standing up uh, to declare the works uh, of the Lord. Uh. Anybody up here understand uh, what I'm talking about uh, in this season? Uh, God has some persons uh, still standing up to praise him. Hello, hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. So there was a battle going on inside of you. Sometimes, you know, my brothers and sisters, even when we come to worship, you know, uh, a battle on the inside of us, we have been shaken. Uh, oh, you, you, you know that? Sister Reed come to their battle and inside her. She, she shaken her. Oh, my brother is sick. Her. Suddenly to kill her. Shaken her. So we come shaken her. At times with different situations in our lives. Her. And so today, her, when we are shaken, her, having a battle and inside her, we can't give God the praise. Her. Are you with somebody? Her. There was once, her. there was a a woman have one son uh, and the son died uh, and the Bible said Nain uh, and when Jesus uh, and the disciples uh, was going into Nain uh, and, and the disciples uh, celebrating uh, there was a woman uh, and the community walking uh, out of the community they were sad uh, and crying uh, so one said was joyful uh, going into Nain uh, So when you are shaken, 
We need Jesus. So the Bible said while they were shaking, uh, coming out uh, of men with that no dead body. Uh, Jesus stopped the procession uh, and bring back the boy to life. Uh, can I tell somebody up here? Uh, can I talk to somebody? Uh, oh, hallelujah. Uh, while you are shaking uh, in your boots. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Uh, Jesus will stop uh, for you uh, to change the situation. Uh, somebody shout it. Uh, somebody open your mouth uh, and say, stop for me. Oh, glory to God. Somebody cry out and say, Stop for me. Stop for me, Jesus. Stop for me. Stop for me. Somebody says, Jesus is passing this way. But I don't want him just to pass by. I want to stop. Stop for me while I'm shaking. Amen. Somebody. Somebody give him praise. Somebody cry out and say, Stop. Stop. Ah, stop for me. Ah, here's a little song we sing in church. Ah, and say, Stop. Ah, and let me tell you ah, what the Lord ah, has done ah, for me. Ah, stop. Ah, and let me tell you ah, that the Lord has done for me. Ah, he healed my body. Ah, somebody praise him. Ah, he healed my body. Ah, then he stopped for you. Ah, he your body, yeah. he will set you free. You know it. Stop uh, and let me tell you uh, what the Lord has done for you. Oh, glory to God. Stop and let me, let me tell you. going on on the inside. Uh, hallelujah. And we'll show on the outside. Uh, because when something has gone wrong uh, on the inside, uh, it's going to show on the outside. Uh, and when you carry it, and you ever see some persons uh, carry the burden uh, on the face. Oh. You ever see somebody uh, carrying the pressure uh, on the face uh, because something uh, a battle is going on uh, on the inside uh, glory to God uh, and it's showing uh, on the outside uh, amen somebody uh, and that's why they can ask you uh, what is going on on the inside uh, glory to God uh, so the Bible says uh, that the prophet uh, Hallelujah. He was shaken. Hallelujah. He was hopeless. Hopeless when you are alone. Open, hopeless when you are feeling alone. Anybody understand when you feel alone? Church is full with persons, but you feel alone. Oh, glory to God. Your house is full with persons, but you are Feeling alone. Uh, anybody have that feeling? Uh, person so around you. Uh, but you're feeling alone. Uh, you feel that everybody uh, forsake you. Uh, everybody uh, is against you. Uh, hey, somebody. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Uh, when you're 
in alone. Uh, I come to tell somebody uh, that God uh, is standing by you. Uh, hello, somebody. Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, I said, your cabinet uh, can be full uh, with all the goodies, uh, but you're still uh, feeling uh, alone. Somebody. Hello, somebody. He was feeling alone, carrying uh, uh, a heavy load. Uh, amen. Somebody said, so Flee uh, to the mountain. Uh, and the Bible tells you when he escaped uh, to the mountain uh, that God, that God turn up. Uh, you see, wherever you are, uh, it doesn't matter your condition. Uh, it doesn't matter your problems. Uh, he's a problem solver. Uh, he's a burden bearer. Uh, it doesn't matter what you're going through. Uh, nothing is too hard uh, for God to do. Uh, if you're even in the mountain, uh, it doesn't matter what you are going through. Uh, amen. Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, hallelujah. Uh, it doesn't matter where you flee to, uh, but the word of God says, uh, the earth is the Lord, uh, and the fullness thereof, uh, and they that dwell therein. Uh, he said, where does shall I go uh, from the presence uh, of thy spirit? Uh, where shall I flee uh, from the presence of God, uh, wherever you go, uh, oh hallelujah, with your issues uh, and your problems, uh, God is there. Uh, if you even keep silent, uh, God knows your problem. Uh, hallelujah, glory to God. Uh, for the word of God says, uh, man, look at, uh, at the outward part, uh, but God sees uh, the heart, He sees uh, what is happening uh, on the inside. Uh, Tell your neighbor, you are struggling on the inside. A practice on the inside. God sees. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And God said unto his servant, you see, he finds himself hiding. Oh, glory to God. So he took out Satan's wings and he fly to the mountain and God want to show his great power to him. God want to show his great power to us, my brothers and sisters, that when we are threatened, when we become fearful, he's God. Somebody shout it, he's still God. Hallelujah, he's still God on the mountain. He's still God. Hallelujah. When the Assyrians turn up and start the battle against that children of God, Israel, the Assyrians said, hello, somebody here. Yeah. Their gods uh, are the God of the mountain. Uh, so we we'll fight them uh, in the valley. Uh. I tell somebody, God is not just God uh, of the mountain. Uh, he's still God uh, in the valley. Uh, somebody shout it. Uh, he's God uh, on the mountain top. Uh, and he's God in the valley. Uh, when you depress, uh, he's still God. Uh, when you're joyful, uh, he's still God. He's God uh, in your good times. Uh, he's still God uh, in your good times. Uh, he's still God uh, when you're sick. Uh, he's still God uh, when you're healthy. Somebody shout it. He's still God. He's still God. He's still God. Hallelujah. And God said, uh, go forth and stand upon the mountain before the Lord. God said, go forth. Uh, step out of the cave. You see, sometimes we're going to the cave for eye folks. Bye, Pazine. Oh. Bye, Pazine, your cave, man. 
but it had not been for the Lord. <laughs> At your side, <laughs> the Bible will kill you. <laughs> it meant so many, but God said, keep quiet, Vipers. Stay one side, Vipers. So sometimes we run down some place where you hide, you know, <laughs> from what is happening, but God will protect us from what here, spiritually I'm talking uh, about now. Uh, so God have to ward off some things that they may really hurt you. So God said, come on. One stand before me. And the Bible says, God pass. The wind start blowing. Hurricane start blow. When is that hurricane season? Do you know that hurricane can blow in our lives even in a hurricane season? Can I talk to somebody here? Huh? Sometimes storm the blue inside of <laughs> inside our life when I know storm. Huh? Oh, glory to God. Can I speak up here? Huh? And so it was blowing, blowing, the wind was blowing, huh? and God was not in it. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Look at somebody and say, the person beside me. Tell them, I know everything you have got through. Huh? Yes, I thank you, God. It is problem. Because some of us, everything we can do to God and say, thank you, God. Who may I got you? And God has said to you, say, no, no, no. And the devil into that. No weapon that form against you shall prosper. And that if you jump up and they say, no, and they say, no weapon that form against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against me in judgment, I can't tell it. And you say, thank you. Problem. Because I give me this problem. Look at them and say, No, God is not in it. Uh, they meant somebody here. Yeah. And then the rock, the rock start to pray. Earthquake! Start shake your shake up everything around you. Your foundation start to shake. I said, Thank God for the shaking. Anybody up here but thank God some stuff uh, and God is not in it. Uh, hello, somebody. Uh, glory to God. Uh, rock start to shake. Uh, and you said, Thank God for the shaking. And, my God, God is not in it. Uh, then fire start burn uh, in your life. Uh, but I hear somebody cry and say, Some to the fire. God went silent. And then the Bible said, God said to him, God step out. And when God step out, God came, God started whispering to him and said, Here am I, my son, here am I to deliver you, here am I to set you free, here am I oh, to comfort you, here am I. Amen. Somebody here to protect you. You uh, from the hands of the enemy. Uh, you see, we got to understand uh, is that everything we are going through, uh, amen. Somebody here uh, that God is in it. Uh, somebody shouted, uh, is that everything uh, we are going through as believers? Uh, God is in it, amen. Somebody, yeah. Amen, amen. Uh, you see, we got to understand uh, that when we are going through some situation, uh, God is saying to us, uh, stand up. Uh, amen. Stand up uh, and allow, uh, hallelujah, my word, uh, hallelujah, to empower you uh, and to deliver you. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, there is no uh, power uh, here. Uh, no other power uh, on earth. Uh, amen. Somebody uh, can, uh, can stand against the God uh, we serve today. Uh, can I tell you this? Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, Paul in Romans 8, uh, verse 31 said, uh, What shall we uh, Hallelujah, then, uh, hallelujah, say, amen, somebody, uh, hallelujah, to do these things, uh, you know, there are some things uh, which affect us, uh, amen, somebody, uh, so when God is not in anything in our lives or some things, uh, oh, hallelujah, Paul said, Romans, uh, if God be for us, uh, who can be against us, uh, look and tell somebody, God, uh, be for you, uh, 
who can be against you? Uh, no Jezebel spirit uh, can stand against you. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, I hear somebody say, let them talk. Uh, let them talk. Uh, but they can't stop me. Somebody. You know. What can stop me? Amen, somebody. The fire can't stop me. Uh, let me run along. Uh, he said, what shall separate me uh, from the love of Christ? Uh, shall tribulation, uh, shall nakedness, uh, our parents, amen, somebody. Uh, you know the time we are living, uh, anything can move, you know? uh, we are easily moved, not true. Uh, things can happen, man, things can happen. Uh, anything can shape us up right now uh, and move us. Uh, can I tell you, my brothers and sisters, uh, it is so easy in a them time here. Uh, anything can shake you up uh, and move you and move you. Says anything can shake you up. You come to church. Uh, somebody says something about you. Uh, you're gone. You're not come. The first one, man. Don't praise on that one. Don't praise on it. Don't praise on that one. Mount, you're gone now. Tell somebody. I'm gone in my mountain. I'm not like in my mountain, man. Let me say, God, see from me one day. God, you know, you know what them say. You can't stop the contact. But the more you talk, is the more me I go praise. Tell somebody I say the more they talk, is the more we don't praise God. It's not about me; it's about the Almighty God. Amen. Somebody here, yeah. so I fear chase him away. Huh? The fear of her, ah, oh, Jezebel. Huh? He flee from the presence. Uh, when I come to tell somebody, yeah, hallelujah, glory to God. Uh, when you have a problem, you got to understand, hallelujah, it is God, it's God. Uh, somebody shout, it is God. Uh, it belongs to God. Uh, it belongs to God. Uh, it belongs to God. Uh, tell somebody, it belongs to God. Uh, shout, it, it belongs to God. Uh, my problem belongs to God. Uh, my trouble belongs to God. Uh, sweet this belongs to God. Uh, oh, 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 glory to God. Hear me, somebody. In 2 Kings 20 and verse 50, uh, oh, Jehoshaphat have a problem, uh, have an issue. Uh, this is where we go around. My brothers and sisters, we believe that oh, if the battle we are fighting belongs to us. So we take it on by our own selves and create more problems in our own selves. Amen, somebody. And we love to use the text, the weapon of our warfare and not carnal. But it's mighty to God in the pulling down of stronghold. But by a finish repeat, pulling down the stronghold, I take on the fight on my own. Hear me, somebody. Can I preach a little bit? More, uh, that we can fight spiritual battles. Uh, amen. Somebody on our own. Uh, you see, our spiritual battles belong to God. Uh, but hear this this was also a physical uh, and spiritual battle. Uh, and he said, How can he, all Judea, and all inhabitants, start to lie? He said, the past. I'm speaking to us. Jerusalem. And thou, King Joseph, leadership of Mataka, pastoral here. Thou, King Joseph. Thus, whenever you see, he said, Thus, say, God attack. Look at your name and say, God attack. And your pastor. But if you read that line, and it's he, thus said the Lord that in God is speaking. Yes. When you read that line, and God attack. So some can tell you that God 
when we are five, we don't pack it. And I think that. So I remember when God took my miss open. You see, what is happening to us believers? When God is speaking in appearing. When God is speaking, because God now makes God enough nice. You know, it's not a problem. You know, that nice, nice people, people draw for them. But God is not. And they talk to God, still vice. And they say, Rabbi. Say, so think, right? So we must work out that way there. Say, I know God that. Now we think God is coming out big nice. One time God come in big nice with the children of Israel. When they were disobedient, a rule, a pastoral came. So they attack the pastoral came. Hear them. What is this? You know, I'm tired of you. Tired of you, you know, they talk now. We are telling about this God. And what God is saying. And God is saying, don't say. Lord, that's what Moses is saying to them. I hear them. We want to talk to God. You know, some persons, some of us, preach not rich enough. Some of them are still vice, may I use? You know, some of us say, oh, why all the time God talk to past and not talk to? Because you don't connect yourself with God if you don't talk to because you don't connect to Him. You are not connected. So he talk to you when you connect to him. Say so yeah, they can never connect to God. And God said, they said, me while we, 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 the congregation of Israel. We want to hear from God to himself. We want to tell him all. We want to have a talk with him. We want to have a meet with your God. That's a Moses. Tell them people don't make a fresh. Don't make a language. Go and have a shower. Wash those clothes which they were wearing. I'm trying to talk to dirty people. You know, we don't talk to it. Uh-oh. That's how all dirty in the spiritual realm now. I want to be able to come to church and clean clothes and look good. Not you. But spiritually, if you are not clean, that you are not clean. Hello? You don't have no connection. He said, bring them come. After them be here, they clean up. In the feast that. So everybody walk up. That said, one like me. Yes, but they go on up a mountain there. See if God really turn up in church here, who will have spread up on the feast? In his presence. No man, no man, no. Oh, cannot stand in the presence of a divine God. Amen, somebody. Cannot stand in the presence of the divine God. You know what happened to most of us? In church today, we don't have all that money. We are walking in the flesh. Standing in the flesh. Not in the spiritual. Man. That's why we have so much problem. So, no, some of them say we. So, this is. So, now make fear of that. Come, make it up. Them just sit, them look at the fire, and the mountain. Them say, hold a minute, Pastor. You see, when the angel they come, let me tell you something. I tell me once that one man break into our house. And when them start going, the man fly under the bed. I wonder if you are that type of man. The man run under the bed and they push his wife and say, Ball out the thief. It's not a joke, right? That's such a thing. Say, You ball out the thief, but me they hide. Oh, glory to God. The man and the defender of the house and the family now. I'm supposed to go, eh, oh. Go stand in front of me, they have to defend my wife and my children. Huh? Amen, somebody. Huh? But him said to him, wife, you go and ball out the thief. Huh? Man, and they be secure himself. Huh? I come to tell somebody, yeah. oh, glory to God, glory to God. Huh? But when God begins to show up, huh? and say, Moses, you know what I'm talking 
You go and go talk to him for we. Hello, somebody. You see your times in our lives. When things don't look right, they say, God, we want to talk to you. But when God show up, he talk, he say, Pastor, you get by your own. You get by your own today. Because we know I'm here. But I come to tell somebody today. Oh, God said to Joseph, the battle is not yours. Not the nation. Stand still. And what God fight. Ha. Do you know that God is a warrior? Ha. He fight our battles. Ha. Amen. Somebody, oh, you got to be still ha. and see the salvation ha. of the Almighty God. Ha. Amen. Church of the living God. Stand still. Having some issues? Having some issues? Some unresolved problems? But they played you a long time? Anybody up here? I look at them. You have some unresolved problem. Can I, can I tell you? Can I go finish this? You know? If I go finish this. Do you know that if you have unresolved problem, that's more trouble? I preach my preach, you know. I mean, I fix some things. Through the word. I just want to drop my spirit. Believe you me. So, we can show you. I'm really most excited. If you have an inside, start up, sister. Start up, brother. I'm going to say, oh. come here, brother. I'm going to say, oh. yeah. so please, do not say, fast as say. Go near your one. You know what I mean? You know what God has said? Look in your wife. Look in her face, man. I see that face there. Look in that man's face. Preach that preach for ten laughing church. That man look at me and, and tell him, and tell him, say, Ozzy, wife, if you have an unresolved problem, let me deal with it. I don't say, no, man, I tell him, man. What, no more than say, if you have unresolved problem, fix it. I'm serious, you know. Because when the Holy Spirit tell me something, I'm not telling you, I mean, just stop in my spirit. Lie my church. This congregation is 20 years behind time. 20 years behind. 20 years behind where you should have been. 20 years. Oh, God is saying, oh, today. I mean, I said, God said, don't say the Lord. I mean, I'm going to come and come on. Fix the um. You know, what what, what the unresolved problem them so we don't call nobody name, we don't find out nobody, we don't say this, we don't say about anybody, we say we. Look at what I say, sis. We don't say, we don't say you. We don't no trouble nobody, we don't say we. Because guess what? God, I don't show up, you know. And I tell him, I tell him, when you don't show up, God will not do nothing unless he's warning people. You see me stop me? And I talk to somebody can hear. God will not do nothing unless he wants. You tell me. So I lift your hand. And let's be clear. We are going to fix all the unresolved problems. You know. We just feel like I'm a spirit of going to tell me, you know. Jesus. 
Come and say, Jesus. Battle and the outside. There are some unresolved problems. So it seems like I just how I know I'm going to get it. So you know, I know this at the park, I line me up. It's not in this. And tell you, you made an unmotion, and you see me like this. I like your from God. I like your from me. I said, your from me, it's a problem of fear. That means I'm your auntie, you don't chat and discuss a lot of things. And, and so, because when we go, I jump up and start. Let me tell you something. You said, you know, your from God, and God, and God, I said, Because you know, the first is so clear. When you go to church, you have spirit and you have to see you, see you, see you, see you, see you, see you, see you. Because I want to see you, see you, see But it's not what my eyes see, it's what the spirit is saying. Too much unresolved problem. Hey, you tell so. I took that to the. I told me I can't go to the after one. I was saying, I was going to say, what? My wife can't tell me this. But I'm a wife. Bad birthday, night, get hurt, then you have something in my very own. I have to go. What do you say, I have to go? I have to go. 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 Doctors and result problem. So two me no one no problem. And if you have unresolved problem, your relationship fix that so you that you come to church and worship God. Because if you go back home and you are no good, I see him where you go. You just come to church and when you go back home, I just step through the gate of problem. Because the problem is still there. Ah. As he was busy in that about him, he stopped right there, so that's when he said, Holy Spirit, I'm going to be calm. You see, you see, you can't shake your hand. Hmm? Tell yourself, if you have an unresolved problem with you, you need to tell me. I'm a man. If I have an unresolved problem with you, go privately, man. And talk to the person. And tell the person, say, listen, man, at 20 years, don't be here, a problem, man. A long time. So time he solve. Because you hurt me a long time. You know that sometimes we hurt people. We hurt people, we hurt people, we hurt people, and even because it becomes that habit in the nose of the earth. Some of us hurt persons we don't know that we are hurting people. Hello? So it becomes a habit. No, my man, nobody tell me, so I'm going to for me here. But when we resolve it, amen? Things will change. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory. Mom, we're not the office for the night. We're on this or that. I saw me kind of still here. I saw me still. Now forgive me sometimes. I speak what I see in the natural world. Something most done. There's something to do. Not here, so. So me fix it right that way. Me now wait tomorrow morning. Praise the Lord. Amen. So let me explain this one more time. Today, if you have an issue, even with your family members, go home and fix it. No, no, make that as so. Go home and fix it. Make it right. If a husband business, 
make it right. If a church family business, make it right. How many devil tell you, say, foolish this pastor talk? Because the devil, the devil, look at Jesus, God himself, and said, any word. Is the devil alone? Is the book? You know the Bible book? Yeah. Then to Jesus. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me just go on for a break. I'm going to have a breakfast. I like to make a, a breakfast that we eat bread most of the time. He said, no, come on. I heard that God said, he said, if you are the son of God, you know what? Call Jesus son of God. So, if you are him, but every word of proceed but I don't want to say alright too long you don't move on you don't say they're blessed you move on you take a try now and you say boy man win and you come back again you're not alright the word of God says he gives the angel charge over you so jump off and you can catch you That's the word of God. My brothers and sisters, don't make him tell you, do not make it right. Think about it. Think about it. You finish right here, so. A sinner man tell me that, that one of the worst things is when you have somebody in your mind, in your heart, have him up. I mean, you see the person that come up the road. You the off and puff and so upset. And the person that come joyfully. <laughs> Be able to think about you. That's what is happening to us. The heart is so heavy. Our hearts are so heavy. That we can't praise God or we are talking. That's what just fall in my spirit. Just and I have to let you know that. Stand up. Sometimes I shout in your ear. And there's sometimes you got to repent. Amen. All of us, we need to repent. Can we do this and burdens are lifted? A Calvary, you know it? single believer to be on the inside this moment. Doesn't matter what the transaction is. Everybody. Call Sister, Sister Blair. Get Sister Chambers. Get everybody inside. You know what the scripture said? And this is where we miss it, you know. This is where we miss it. The word of God said, Exodus, place the blood and the lintel. Those who are outside the covering of the blood suffer the consequence. You hear me? A serious moment, you know. Right, I know, you know. Where do we support? If they're upstairs, they like, come down. He said, place the blood and the force and anything 
It's not under the covenant of the blood. Hey. Tell your neighbor. Nothing which is out of the covering is going to die.
And I want you to really sincerely today, all the adult and the chambers, really, really sincerely from the depths of our heart. You can look at that somebody face and tell that person, I'm leaving here today, I'm going to uh, solve that unresolved problem that God can show up. Serious business, you know? With a solved and resolved problem once and for all. Somebody say once and for all. See if it's bitterness, tribe, hatred in the heart. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Awala, get that one. The neighbor. You have malice in your heart. You have to answer this man, you know. Now you know. Ask him. Neighbor, you have malice in your heart. Resolve it. Because if you die that way, I hell you they go. Don't do that. Tell a person, if you're dead, so I hell you they go. Because there is no repentance in the grave. Let after somebody know. There is no God Almighty. Look at the person again and say, neighbor, you have hatred in your heart. I tell you, go. Start praying. Everybody everywhere, pray. Okosha, I don't know what you have. 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 Eh, <laughs> Words. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done. Thank you, Lord, for what you will be doing in the hearts of your Great faith to God. Push every plan and power to the Holy Spirit. We will break it in the next year for Jesus.
Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. As we go, oh, I'm asking for an option for a man to be a church. Please don't go without for the benediction. I'm just going to do this song, my brothers, if you feel that way. I am believer. Praise the Lord. You feel that way? I am believer. Glory to his name. In the mire, I am delivered. Praise the Lord. I am delivered. Praise the Lord. I am delivered. Glory to His name. Delivered. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Who going to Montego Bay? The proper man is in there. And then I sing long that is evening enough. A rally enough. Let me see one of the guys rally. Run it. Yeah. In the Maya, I'll see the banana. So see you in Montego Bay. The choir, you're meeting now. I'm asking the choir to stay back for a couple of minutes. Right now. And nobody saving grace for the Lord and save Jesus Christ. The love of God, the full fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the comforter. Rest remain in the Bible, so both will go from world. Amen.